Hi everybody, welcome back. It's Mag, and it's time to do another shave. I have received a bunch of new products. One in particular I've been waiting for for a long, long time, and I'm gonna share those with you and give you a shot of some changes to the shave den. So, we had a big mail call come in and these are some products that I had ordered and I want to share those with you. Now, one of them we're going to use in today's shave. The rest of them we're going to do down the line in a different shave. But to start things off, we have some Speak. I think that's how you say it. Speak. It's shave cream and it's in a tube. So this is more of a classic style type shave cream. Been around for a while. Doesn't smell too bad. Um, can't wait to give this a try, but it's it's uh, along the lines of the the, the Parasos, the Sellas. It's 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 worth its weight in gold within the shave community, I guess you could say. It has its longevity, so. I wanted to try some of the older shave creams that have been around and the basis for some of the new artisan soaps. I got Parasso, so I'm kind of making my way through some of the classical ones that have been around for a while, and this is number two. Now we did get some other soaps. Uh, this one is from Mickey Lee Soap Works, and it's The Kraken. And this smells fantastic. It's a barbershop scent, uh, but to me, it's it's almost like a some sort of bubblegum or or fruity or something. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but it's uh it's red and white and it's it's soft soft cream, but uh, smells great. And we're gonna do a shave with that in the future. And then we also received uh th this one was pretty cool. I, I read the uh, the description and I'm like nah maybe they got close but not exactly right so this is from Central Texas Soaps Mr. Pepper and let me tell you something guys if you guys drink Dr. Pepper this soap still soft soap soft smells just like Dr. Pepper Man, I get blah, 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 blah. man. Oh, it's just got it's got everything. In fact, in the description it says it even captures the carbonation um, after you pour it and the the, the, the bubbles and the mist. Uh, it, it smells fantastic. So I'm gonna try that in an upcoming shape. What else did we get? Uh, we got some new blades. This is uh, the V Super Max. So we have some of these blades, the Super Stainless. We're going to give these a try in an upcoming shave. And we got some new brushes. So our first brush is a, a Bore Synthetic, I believe is what they call it. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a synthetic mirroring bore. So it's an Omega S brush. And this is a Model S119. So we'll take it out of the packaging. And I thought I was ordering a bore brush, so kind of disappointed, but then I got it and uh, it's not too bad. So it has a very stiff backbone. It is uh, synthetic, uh, but it's to resemble like boar hair uh, without the, the stiffness or the scratching of a boar. We'll give that a try in an upcoming shave. And then, uh, something that I've been eyeing for a long, long time. A Yaki brush. And this one is really cool. Let me take it out of the box. But this is called the Sagrada Familia Tuxedo. And this is a synthetic, right? Yaki, 24 millimeter knot. And it's the tuxedo. And uh, I love the handle. I mean, take a look at that handle. Isn't that super cool? I love it. And it's not a huge brush, but, uh, and I have pretty big hands and it's got, 
you know, good grip, synthetic brush, but uh, I've been waiting to try this. So this is going to be an upcoming shave as well. Okay. And then the last item that we had picked up in our shave hole would be a fine stoneware lather bowl. And this uh, was sold out for the longest time on the website. And uh, I got this from West Coast Shaving. And this is the gray with the white bottom. It has the uh, perforations inside going up the wall. And then it has a, a handle uh, to hold on to. This could be like for your thumb for balance. And it does have a, a hook hole here so that you can hang it on the wall so it lays flat. And then this is a brush stand for your brush. So I thought that was cool. And as you can hear, stone, right? Don't drop it, it will break. Uh, and it is, uh, has the word fine on the bottom. So this is a pretty cool uh, bowl. And uh, this, we're going to use today for our leather. All right. And the last thing that we got in that I'm going to use today, and this is what I've been waiting for a long, long time for, is I ordered some Gillette Wilkinson Sword Saloon Packs. So there's 50 in each box plus five. So there's 110 razor blades here. These came from India. So that's why they took a little while to get here, probably four or five weeks. And uh, I've never tried these before, so we're going to try these for the first time today. In fact, here it is. I took, I took one out, and I put it in the razor we're going to use today, which is the Regiment Gunmetal Standard Issue. And uh, the blade is in there, lines up real nice. So that is our razor and razor blade today. We had the shave bowl. And we are going to do an art of shaving shave. So we're going to have the travel art of shaving. This is the lavender pre-shave oil. And then we have the travel lavender shave cream. We also have the travel lavender pulse shave balm. And then we're going to use the travel art of shaving badger brush. So I'm just going to put this right here in the cappuccino mug. Nice hot water. Going to let it sit for a moment. I'm going to put some hot water on the face. We'll get some oil on and we'll be right back. So I wet the face, I got the lavender pre-shave oil on and it smells like lavender. Feels good too. I got my fine bowl here and I'm going to take my Art of Shaving Lavender Essential Oil Shave Cream. I'm going to put a dab in the shave bowl. There we go. There we have it. Okay. Take the Art of Shaving brush, it's been soaking, shake it out, a little bit of water left, we're just going to start to lather it up. There it goes. And I like this bowl because of the, uh, the large diameter. The Kingsley bowl was nice, and when you started to build a big lather it would start to spill over a little bit, um, and this bowl has a larger diameter and I, I, it has the high sides so uh, that's why I was looking for the larger bowl. So in the preview before we got into the mail call, look at this, perfect. So I'm going to finish whipping this up but in the preview I talked about a change to the shave den. Let's take a look at this. So guys, quick tour of part of the shave den, I was able to put up some shelving to start to display some of my shave equipment. And if we take a closer look, you'll see we have the Cremo creams, there's the Maverick, the Kingsley Bowl, there's some brushes, and some shave soaps and creams. These stacked on top of another are the Taylor of Old Bond Street. Behind that's a Williams mug and the Vanderhagen soap. And then down here we have some of the razors, the razor blades. Here's the atomizers, the aftershave from West Coast Shaving, the septic pencil, and our Dr. John's 
Savannah Sunrise. So a couple of the razors I didn't have up there uh, were the Vanderhagen and the Micro Touch 1 uh, because there wasn't enough room to fit everything on there. Uh, plus I got to put all the new stuff that I got somehow on there. But we'll make it work. Uh, all my aftershaves and colognes and, and some of the other things I have underneath the sink and there's some a few things on the countertop here that I just keep readily available. But uh, man, look at this. Look at this. This thing whoo, whips up no issue. All right. So we're going to get this shave started. Man. All right. Got it all over my hands. It's all over this travel brush. Uh, the brush is slipping in my hands. Hmm. I don't smell the scent too much. But it sure whips up a good lather. In fact, this is the first time I'm using Art of Shaving cream to shave with. So we got a new bowl, new blade, new shave cream, new oil. I've used Art of Shaving Oil before, but not this scent. And then the post-shave balm is going to be lavender as well, so yeah. Good. All over my hands. And that brush too is still shedding. I've only used it a handful of times. Uh, this is the second video. And there may have been one in between, but I'm trying to break that in because I, uh, I may be uh, going on a trip soon and I want to take it with me and uh, I don't want it to have to, you know, keep shedding. So I'm trying to, trying to break it in and season it a little bit. Okay. Just gonna get the razor. Just gonna wet it a little bit. Regiment standard issue double edge with the saloon blade. Gillette. I know that Ken Surfs likes this blade a lot. First time using it, but he. Uh, tends to favor, at least I think, the mild blades. So, I'm the same way. So I figured, eh, I'll give it a shot. And I think I got the 100 pack for seven bucks, seven and change, free shipping. Can't beat it. Yep. Very mild blade. Very nice. Now the oil is helping it, but it definitely glides smooth. And the shave cream ain't bad either. Not too much of a lavender scent on the shave cream. Turning the razor. Our weather here can't make up its mind. Now it's been rainy the last couple days, but the temperature's been all over the place. 73 yesterday. Mm. No. Yeah, 73 yesterday. 59 today. That was the high. So it's like, come on Mother Nature, make up your mind. Is summer here or is it not here? I 
and before the nice weather hit uh, last weekend I got out there I was finally able to cut the grass so I got the front yard done I started the backyard and the weather changed on me again Ugh. Quick cold rinse. Yeah, yeah, it feels nice. Good. Wow. That blade did a heck of a job. Three days growth on my face did pretty good. Okay. Let's get some more of this art of shaving lavender. Yeah, oop. Oh. Can't really smell the lavender. Oh, there you go, a little bit. I think the scent's coming out a little bit because of the water I have on my face from that cold rinse. It's uh, mixing with the scent of the soap a little bit. Now I could smell it. Unless it's the oil that's left behind from that pass. Not very strong though. So, I mean, I, I, some guys and girls, they like the strong scent. Some people don't prefer it to be overpowering. This is neither. This is like soap. Yeah. Can hardly smell a thing. Myers would even call this unscented. Here it is, lavender essential oil, shave cream. So, supposed to be lavender. All right, let's go for pass two. Ear to nose, across the grain. Wow, no, no feedback. A little bit there, hear that? Very little. A little bit going the other way. Now, I like this razor. Because, especially when you're shaving under your nose, right, there's no overhang. It doesn't catch. It's nice and flat. Oop. Darn pimple. Where it's got to be summer because I'm not sweating all the time, but man, I get a few days of growth and uh, gets stuck in the in the bristles of my hair that I have, and it just develops. Chin is notorious for it. Yep. This blade is nice though. Yeah. 
That's just my pimple. Very nice. Wow. Practically BBS. Now I know why he likes these blades so much. All right. I don't think I need a third pass today. All right, let's uh, get some cold rinse on here. pencil here. Uh, yep. It was broken already. There we go. Almost time for a new one. Why do you say? Well, because it's a... Uh, is broke. Meg dropped it. <laughs> Yeah, those things are very brittle, so got to be careful when you handle those. So there we go. That's how the septic pencil works, newbies. Just let it sit there and dry off. Uh, but I like this. Uh, I like the blade. I like the blade. I like the razor. Okay. Just rinse off that little piece there. Oh, a little weeper in the corner, too. All right. Okay, you know what? I didn't show this in the beginning, but I'm gonna use this. So we have some Humphreys Witch Hazel, and this is uh, lavender, right? Mm. Uh, organic Rose, that's what it is, Rose. I've seen the purple one. I forgot I had it. Now this, contradictory to the other ones, this you have to shake for some reason. I don't know. I can tell you guys that Thayer's doesn't feel or smell like witch hazel. Uh, the Dickinson's is witch hazel, uh, but both of those are less expensive than the Humphreys. The Humphreys seems to cost just a wee bit more. Okay. in a little bit all right and then we are on for our aftershave balm in lavender okay squeeze out of the tube very nice Smell the lavender in this. The oil and the balm, yes. Shaving cream? Not so much. Very relaxing. Good shave. Very nice shave. So that's it for me today. With a quick recap, we did an Art of Shaving Shave. We had the pre-shave oil, the shave cream, and the post-shave balm. We also put on some uh, witch hazel, organic rose. We whipped everything up using the Art of Shaving brush in the fine bowl, the brand new bowl that we just got, good stone bowl. And we used the Wilkinson Sword Saloon Pack blade for the first time in the Standard Issue Regiment Double-Edged Safety Razor. So I want to thank everybody for watching. Please leave us some comments and uh, give us a thumbs up if you like the video. And certainly we're going to bring you some more future shaves with 
all the new products that we shared with you earlier in the video. So we look forward to doing those. And thanks again for your time. We will speak to you real soon.